I applied to medical aspirations to get a more of a greater understanding about medicine. I'd been trying to get a lot of work um, with my GP um, and it was really difficult because obviously there's so much competition and I wasn't really sure how to get into it. My school didn't have a lot of sort of support. They were really encouraging me but I don't think they knew how to. The fact that Medical Aspirations gave me the opportunity to see what being a medical student was like was really advantageous because I didn't have any idea about it otherwise. I think my favourite bit was speaking to junior doctors because although they emphasised how hard it is, um, they also just said about what good fun it is and also about learning different specialities that I could go into. In the brief they said, um, oh you'll live life as a medical student for three three days and I was kind of thinking oh people always say that you always have things that kind of might seem a bit like it but they're going to give you all the really exciting stuff every now and again um, but actually since I've been here it has been completely true to word and it's prepared me fantastically. The problem based learning session because it's so different to what I've done before um, so there was this one particular case where we looked at pathology um, and basically the session was broken up so that we had to look at x-rays at first, interpret the x-ray and there was another piece of evidence, we had to look at that and interpret that, analyse that and then we just kind of worked together to solve the problem as a group and I thought that was just so interesting. They were true to their word in the sense of the PBL that I did in Medical Aspirations is what I do now and I feel much better prepared for the workload that I'm expecting um, from the Medical Aspirations course just because they were quite genuine in what they were telling us rather than kind of sugarcoating it for want of a better word. So I think the best thing about Medical Aspirations was the problem based learning because that's what all of my lessons are like now. We actually were able to practice PBL, so we could learn a bit about how the process works and that you do rely on each other to produce good work, but actually in the end it does come together and you can fill in your gaps of knowledge and it makes for better learning, I think, because I can build on what I already know rather than just having to recap everything that's previously done. It's all challenging from the very start, but it's not in the sense of massively difficult. It's just new and all coming at once. Getting used to balancing all the different types of work, um, I think, especially during A-level and even getting into university, the, you know, there were so many things on at the same time and having to do, I volunteered at the hospital um, for seven months and then doing that alongside my A-levels got really difficult, particularly at the end. Um, but it, it was good experience because now I'm in medical school, we obviously don't just do exams, we do practical work as well. The fact that everything's patient orientated, so the lectures that you have is patient orientated, the problem based sessions that you have every week is very much patient led um, and it kind of means that you study medicine for patients and you study medicine because what you're going to be doing is orientated towards patients. The most enjoyable thing is putting what I've learned and going to see a patient and thinking, ah, I've recognised this particular bone of the hip, the patient doesn't care that that bone's there, but I know that that's what's gone wrong. And it's just, it's kind of like a rewarding feeling, the fact that you can actually see that what you're doing does have relevance. I think the best bit is probably the patient contact. Um, my first consultation was really nerve-wracking, but really good fun, and I think the patients are all really willing to speak to you, and it's just a really great way to put what you do in lectures into practice.